Hey, hey guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out guys, we are back on our survival single player Let's Play series. Starting off the episode in our 1.14 cave that we built in the previous episode. I think we're gonna go with that name, that's right, this is the 1.14 cave. This is the cave where we started adding the new 1.14 blocks in Minecraft. And I asked you in the previous episode whether or not you thought it was okay to mod our, you know, mod our Minecraft, our vanilla experience here, if you want to call it that, to add some of the new blocks which we don't have in 1.12, since, as you can remember, guys, I don't have access to the new blocks and new, the new versions of Minecraft since we're still using the replay mod. So instead of, you know, updating and not using the time-lapse uh, the time lapse mod, we're going to be adding a new mod to add these blocks. And all of you were really happy to do that, so... Yeah, we're going to keep continuing to use these blocks. And I have something special for you guys today because you like that so much. We have added some new crafting recipes into the game. And that is, wait for it, stripped logs. That's right. So all of the log variants now come with a stripped log variant, I guess. <laughs> and the way you get these, you know, in 1.13, you have to use your diamond or you have to use your axe to strip the logs. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that in the mod. So instead, what I did was you can place two logs or two pieces of wood on top of each other to get the stripped birch log, which I think is pretty okay. You cannot transfer them back or anything like that. Because once you strip the bark off, you can't really get them back. So that's the way to craft these. I think that's pretty good. Let me know in the comments section whether you think that's um, an acceptable crafting method to get these. I hope you do, because I like that way. And now we can work with these blocks. And another thing which we've added is we can now craft bells. That's right. So we can now drop them down and we have a bell which we can work with. And I think those look super sweet. Now, there are actually two variants of the bell, which is one on the ground and one which you can like hang from a block or something like that. And again, I wasn't able uh, to figure out how to, you know, change that in the game. So instead, what you can do, you can change the type of block from a bell which you can drop, uh, which you can place on, a ground, on the ground to one which you can place on a block which is hanging which I think is okay. I mean, in the end, you still get the same effect. I don't think I have an advantage to this anything or, or a disadvantage. Uh, you just have to, you know, craft in between those recipes. What I can also do is I can use a hanging bell to get a ground bell back. So I can place this one again back on the ground, which I think is pretty cool, guys. You'll have to let me know. I know it's not super, yeah, vanilla-y the way we uh, get those blocks in 1.14. But yeah, I really want to use these things. So yeah, let me know. Let me know whether or not you like this thing. I'm going to hang the bell right here because why not, guys? It's 1.14. We have bells and it looks super sweet. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, guys, I say it again and again, but let me know whether or not you like this change. And I'll start adding more and more recipes to this game because it takes quite a while coming up with these recipes. Yeah. <laughs> However, guys, enough rambling. How about let's... Let's talk about what we're going to do in this episode. And in today's episode, I thought we would get our redstone on again. That's right. We are going to be doing some redstone and we are going to be building a sugarcane farm. That's right. Because guys, believe it or not, we don't even have a sugarcane farm in this world. Yeah. How, how on earth was I getting my sugarcane all this time? <laughs> Anyways, guys, the plan is I want to build like a really cool sugarcane farm somewhere in this cave. Yeah. I'm thinking of, you know, tearing out this wall and maybe even on the other side. I'm not too sure yet. We'll have to see how far we get. But yeah, I want to tear out this wall and build a sugarcane farm behind a glass wall. Just make it super sweet. Make it look really cool. Add some of those new blocks into the game and... Yeah, just, just have some fun, guys. So, yeah, that is the plan for the day. And as always, we're going to make an awesome time lapse out of it. So, I hope you're excited for that, guys. And I hope you're ready. And if you're not, you know what to do. Grab your popcorn and grab your favorite designated beverage. And I guess, let's get this time lapse started.
there we go guys we got two sugarcane farms built right here in our little cave and it's looking super sweet if i can say so myself yeah and they're working they are working that is right <laughs> it actually took you know a lot less time than i actually thought you know i thought we would only like get done one side of the of the cave but guess what guys we actually got yeah two farms built so it's looking really sweet I like this there's still gonna be a collection system I think I think what we're gonna have is a is a nice track going here and here all the way to our storage system which will then filter the items into our automated sorting system somewhere around here probably in the bulk storage we'll have to see what we'll do maybe we'll also filter them outside and have a separate storage I don't know not not too sure but yeah, guys, those things are built. I know, uh, regarding the farms, guys, um, I honestly can't remember who actually came up with this design. I mean, it's such a standard design. Um, I'm pretty sure someone came up with it, but this is pretty much the design I always use. So if you guys know who de designed this farm, let me know in the comment section so I can give credit to that person. And, of course, um, oh, yeah, I also have to give credit to Etho, of course. We used his hopper clock right over here and on the other side you know the standard guys the standard when it comes to when it comes to hopper clocks and redstone we got our we got our clock our monostable circuit which powers all of our torches right here which then retracts the pistons and breaks all the sugar canes so we can harvest them and i hope i can get out of here yeah there we go yeah so i had a lot of fun doing this now however we are not done with this episode. Oh no, we are not. We are actually gonna continue a little bit longer and actually decorate this cave a little bit so that it looks a little better. Cause I mean, right now it looks pretty good, but I think we can do a lot better here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I hope you're excited for that. So I guess we're just gonna start the time-lapse guys. That's right. <laughs> oh man, sit back, relax and enjoy guys. I'll see you in a bit.
there we go guys the farms are running there we go and the area is whoops there we go <laughs> and the cave system is looking super sweet if i can say so myself yeah there's still a bit of few things which I want to do. I mean, of course, this area needs it needs a bit more love, and of course, we need to work on this area. But most of all, guys, the thing which is important to me now is that it is fully hooked up to our man cave here. So now we actually have two entrances to get into into the base, which is pretty cool. We can fly out here, which I also I really like that entrance. But most of all, we also have the little mouth entrance where we can walk through. And then go into the fish bowls, which is, I like it. It's it's the details, guys. It's the details, yeah. So, I haven't hooked this up yet to our storage system. Because, guys, I, I want to get this episode out to you guys. And it's going to take way too long if I figure that stuff out. So, instead, what I have done is I've placed a hopper with a double chest over here. Which is slowly collecting sugar cane. And the same thing on the other side. So that we don't lose any drops, which is pretty good, yeah. And here, oh man, already just around two and a half stacks, which is super sweet. We have a little water feature here. It, it needs a few more details, it really does. I'm not too sure yet what to add. Maybe you guys have some ideas what to do. But I really like these water features in here, yeah. They look really cool. They actually add a bit more, a bit more dynamic to the farm. It, it doesn't look so, yeah, so industrial. It looks a lot more organic. Maybe we'll add some more leaves into this area just to make it look a bit more overgrown so we have like a nice transition in between the the area that we have over there and the area that we have on this side. So we'll have to see what we'll do. I'm, I'm pretty confident. But anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun doing this project. I hope you enjoyed it as well because, yeah, it was a lot of fun. However, guys... That is going to be it from me. If you liked the video, make sure to smash the like button, guys. And if you're not subscribed, what on earth is your problem, guys? Subscribe. We have awesome content coming every single day for December. So, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> However, guys, that's going to be it from me. So, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. And I will see you later.